Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're checking out the new Belgium American Haze IPA. So this is another low ABV offering from New Belgium this time, out of uh, Collins, Colorado and Asheville, North Carolina. It's 5%, 30 IBU if I recall correctly. Um, Port Collins. That's what it says. I think though the ones that um, we get here on the East Coast come from their Asheville location. I think 100% you are correct. Because while we were there on our honeymoon, that's what they said. And we also actually ran into one of the reps, what was it, yesterday or the day before yesterday? And he was doing a Voodoo Ranger tasting at the uh, local grocery store we go to. And uh, so we were talking to him for a while. He actually subscribed, so we can't wait to see this review. Hope is good. We were talking about the production and just kind of where the company is going after their buyout um, with, I guess, the company that uh, has acquired them now or has a stake in them anyway. Um, and yeah, said that uh, they're ramping it up, so. And I mean, while we were there, those barrels were huge. They have a facility there. Only seconded, I think, by uh, Sierra Nevada. At least that we saw in yeah, the area. Yeah, that's true. So this beer is brewed with, uh, it's Dry Hop Estrada, Amarillo, and HBC 522. So Nine. all American. Yeah, so they're all American hops. I'm not exactly sure if all of them are dry hopped or if it's just the strata that was dry hopped in the process. Well, I don't know. All we can do is smell and taste. So let's dive into the aroma and see what we're looking at here. Rather light. Yeah, I'm not getting a lot of punch to the smells. Mmm, not a huge hop presence, not huge. It's there but not huge. Yeah, I mean, it smells uh, a little piney. Definitely notes of tangerine poking out there or some citrus fruit. Yeah, definitely, definitely smells like passion fruit on the nose. Yeah, it's either orange or passion fruit. I don't know, I've never had a passion fruit, so I couldn't really say, but uh, all right, let's dive into this one and see what a 5% uh, New Belgium hazy IPA is all about. You know what, it's about as, uh, it's about what I would expect out of the body. Yeah, it's quite... Easy drinker. I would say this is a medium carbonation. It's not as hoppy as I expected it with all the, with all the hops uh, that we read about being in there. I feel like I'm getting more fruity notes on the nose, but then when I actually drink it, I'm not getting as much fruity. I kind of like their can art that they use for this Voodoo Ranger series. So it's a series of beers that they have. And I'm not sure what inspires each okay. different style of the Voodoo Ranger, but they've had like, what, six or seven of them by now? There's a lot. There's a lot. There's a lot. I've lost count. And are they all skeleton people? Yeah. That's cool. They're all like skeletons, and the skeletons are all doing something different. Every um, different so can this art. guy definitely is, a, it looks like he's a World War II pilot that brought his guitar and he's just on break. Just walking around Asheville, North Carolina with his guitar slung on his back with some goggles on. Kind of reminds me of like 1968. The guitar, the jeans. This is freedom. Yeah. This is Skeletor freedom. You know, all those beers seem to be really good. This one being no exception. I, I, I enjoy this one. I just feel like it should have a little bit more something. What is it that I want it to have now? It's, it's missing something. I think it's that bite to the hops. I think it's a little too smooth. That would be my only criticism, to be honest, is I feel like it's a little too smooth. And I get it, it's hazy, right? But I don't know. Comparing this one, though, to the stone one that we just did, I think that this one is a little bit more easy drinking than the stone one. I think I enjoy this one actually a little bit more. It's less bitter, it's lighter, and just yeah. it's fruitier. It's if they put this beer in the st in the st in the never ending haze can, it would make a lot more sense. Yes. Right. Yeah. This is the color I was expecting on the yeah. beer. But yeah, this is something I could totally drink by the pool. Oh yeah. Or in the beach. Definitely. It's light enough. 
crushable enough, but there's still plenty going on in there. Yeah, it's, it's great for a 5% beer. I think breweries are really starting to figure out that like low ABV beers are an important aspect of the market. Like they sell well. And if you want a craft beer that's hazy, that's still, you know, you can drink by the pool, then, you know, this is, this is perfect. I have to say, I think I've pretty much had like all of the voodoo ones that they've made so far, maybe one or two I've missed. But this so far is my favorite. Really? Yeah. Out of all of them? Out of all of them, yeah. Wow, damn, that's high praise. All right guys, well that does it from us. If you're interested in more craft beer reviews or craft beer event coverage, be sure to click that subscribe button and hit the little bell icon to stay up of these two icons. Is it a bar? There's a bar, it's down there. Something down there, hit that. Until next time, stay crafty, cheers.